Guys, today is all about Punisher Script V10. I'm gonna show you five different teams. We're gonna go from easy mode to expert. You guys ever see like those tasty videos where it's like spaghetti three ways. We're gonna show you from uh, home cook, amateur, and expert. It's like kind of like that, but instead of spaghetti, spaghetti would be delicious. I should've just done spaghetti. We're gonna show you Punisher Script V10, five different teams going from the most simple, straightforward, easy to slightly more complex and ridiculous as well. Uh, let's take a look. Let's get it started on the first one is Tricaru. Let's get it started. Everyone knows what Tricaru is. It's just the three Inugamis. Is the Vertiheel is like the most popular. If you are farming in Summoner's War in uh, 2021 and you are not doing Tricaru and you have not even tried to do Tricaru, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I was like, you know, then uh, I got some news for you. What are you doing? That's my that's my question for you. It, it's just this is the standard team. You know why it's the standard team? Is because it is the most effective. Also, this one is going for the uh, the left, right, and then the boss. After that, it would be faster if you just go for the boss. Some people find that the left, right, and boss. I think it might be based on towers, but some people find that the left, right, boss seems to work better. I find that it's is just a slight increase on this account anyway uh, in um, in reliability if we go left right boss but it was doing just fine on just hitting the boss directly it was just like sometimes it wouldn't uh, maybe maybe it was the defense breaks that it failed uh, or something like that but it's just a a little bit less reliable going directly for the balls, so that's why we do this here. But I think it might actually be based on the towers. But either way, it'll be faster if you just go for the boss directly, but if that doesn't work, just go for the towers and GG, right? So it should be like a minute, a minute, 10 seconds for this team. Let's take a look if we're going for left. Oh, so like a minute 16. Okay, so super slow, super slow here. So this is the easy one. This is the fairly straightforward. This And again, the Tricar is just because it's the most effective Dragon's B12 team that's not based on RNG. They don't have to be like, oh, well, it failed to run. You know, there's other faster ones, but uh, they fail sometimes. So this is just so... Um, this is just taking a lot of the RNG out of it. Kanto is like, more RNG! And then the players are like, less RNG. We want reliability. <laughs> we want reliability. So anyway, let's take a look at the next team on Europe. Next up, we're here on the Europe server account. We're going to do fairly similar. We have the Tricaru and a Fire Homunculus. So the Fire Homunculus is going to do continuous damage. He's got four hits, continuous damage on skill one. He's got four hits, continuous damage on skill three. Uh, and then he has a Brand, Speed Break, and Disturb HP Recovery on skill two. But it's basically just about all these multi-hits. Uh, well, not the multi-hits. It's about the continuous damage, about all this continuous damage. When we get to the boss, it's going to do, uh, the boss is going to take turns and, and all that continuous damage is going to tick away. So, uh, they are, this is not, this team specifically is not uh, the same gimmick with the Tricaru. Just in case you guys are new, some of you guys are new. Um, the gimmick with the Tricaru doesn't work as well with, when you have five units in there. Because when you only have four units, then all the Inugamis team up with each other and the Vertiheel. And it's just infinite, infinite, infinite uh, availability of that uh, skill too. Whereas if you have five units in here, then uh, every time they team up, they decrease, cool uh, decrease cooldowns. So some of them are not teaming up with all the, like, look at this. This Inugami was left out the last time. So his cooldown on skill two did not get decreased. So let's see. Takes a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. Very nice. Let's do. So they didn't have their uh, skill twos available. So they didn't have those uh, those team ups. Right? Like they would if they were, if it was just uh, the Vertiheel. So let's see. Continuous damage. And boom, boom. And they didn't even have to take off. And how long is this run? This is one minute and seven seconds. A little bit less. Uh, a little bit not crazier, just a little bit less normal. Not everyone's running the uh, the fire homunculus. Just the continuous damage is nice. These teams, by the way, are not going to be like going from slowest to fastest. These are going from like normal to a little bit less normal, a little bit like what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the last team was like, what? Really, really, what is that? The next team I'm going to show you, team number three. There's still a Vertiheel, no Inugamis. 
no team ups with the Inugamis. We have completely different stuff. We have the Fire Grim Reaper. He doubles the effects of any continuous damage. He also puts continuous damage on the uh, enemies um, himself, but he also doubles any effects of continuous damage. We have the Dark Jack o' Lantern, which is going to speed break, multi hit on skill one. He's got a speed buff, crit buff on skill two. Also, uh, when he does his skill two, he will put a shield up. Uh, he'll put a shield up in other uh, circumstances as well. But the shield is nice for some sustain. And then we have these two Elven Rangers. They're going to do a metric ton of continuous damage to everything. Um, which you will see is basically a continuous damage. A turn cycling and continuous damage team. Uh, and then the Soth is there doing like all this extra. Or doubling the effect of all this uh, continuous damage. So you know eventually they're going to do a PC-12 team. I don't... Oh my god, don't tell me that's going to be the update after SWC. They're going to be like, PC-12! <laughs> I'll quit that day! I'll quit that day! I'm not doing PC-12! No PC-12! No, stop. Come to us. You're out of control, PC-12 teams. They didn't actually say they're going to do PC-12 teams, but... You, you can imagine that eventually they're going to do Punisher Script B12. So... Uh, there you go, all the continuous damage. Those Elven Rangers are just so much fun to watch. I just, I, I get a kick out of those, uh, just seeing those guys do their thing, right? Just all those revenges, and then all these multi-hits, all that continuous damage, all that continuous damage. That's a, that's a thing of beauty, okay. So they got the speed, uh, speed break with that, uh, Dark Jack-O-Lantern, well, the not speed break, it was supposed to be a speed break with Dark Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, decrease attack bar, lots of continuous da- and the boss is dead before I can explain what's going on. Okay, so there we go. One minute and nine- <laughs> still the same amount of time. One minute and nine seconds on this team, but it's just a little bit crazier. I think it's a, a pretty significant step up in crazy, uh, cause, uh, from the last team, because the last one was still Tricaru. This one, just con con continuous damage, dark jack-o'-lantern, two dark- double dark uh, LD4 elven rangers. Here we are with team number four, just one extra level of crazy. There's no Vertiheel, there's no Dark Elven Rangers. We do still have a Soften here though. Uh, this is here on Free to Win, by the way, if I didn't mention that already, the series where we only use two and three star monsters, we don't spend any money. That's why we're using no Vertiheel and we're using triple Wind Mummies. So the Wind Mummies uh, are immune to continuous damage. Also, they will inflict one continuous damage on the enemies when they are hit. So they're going to be doing a lot of continuous damage. They also do pure damage with skill 2 as well, based on their HP. But they're going to be doing a lot of uh, continuous damage. It's not quite as fast, but they're going to be doing a lot of continuous damage to the enemies every time they get hit. Extra continuous damage, extra continuous damage. The werewolf is actually here, uh, mostly for sustain. <laughs> That's about it. He's mostly just there for sustained turn cycling. Uh, get that uh, crit resist and get the speed buff for... They don't actually need the speed buff as much, I don't think, on here. I just know that the... I tried a bunch of different stuff and the werewolf was the one that was the most consistent. Uh, I was trying like Fran and things like that. Fran is actually good or bad here depending on your team that you're using. If you're using continuous damage, Fran can be pretty nice. I did actually try her at first. Um, I tried a few other things, but uh, this is the one that was the most consistent. Um, and this is a consistent team. This is as crazy as this is. This is a consistent team for Punisher's Crypt. Consistent. Not like it's a joke team, but it's a joke team that I genuinely farm with because this is a consistent team. So, uh, Fran will decrease attack age with uh, skill 1, which is going to give him a turn. That's that's one of the boss's mechanics, is that it gives him a turn when he when you try to decrease his attack age. So generally things that decrease attack age are bad here unless you're running like if you're running like a normal damage team. But if you're running like a continuous damage team, see this wasn't even that th this wasn't even that slow considering. Um but if you're running continuous damage team, uh it's going to give him a turn and those uh those continuous damage will will detonate basically and then he'll do the he'll take the damage uh fast so they could potentially be something that's nice depending on the team that you're using but this is the uh triple mummy team this, I, this is i i feel like this is my personal favorite just because it's so ridiculous and the last but certainly not least team on the light and dark only account 
quadruple light string master so these girls were a hall for anyone that's new uh or returning or whatever these girls were a hall of heroes so on the light dark only account we just built all four uh some of them are still lacking skill ups but they are basically just tanky the same thing with the mummies i didn't mention the mummies too much or i didn't show the runes on them um just tanky just hp 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 speed and subs resistance and subs defense and subs just tanky. Uh, these girls will steal turns. They'll increase their attack bar. Uh, so they don't need to be super, super crazy fast. Again, just uh, triple. Apparently not even uh, not even maxed. Okay. But uh, yeah, they'll increase their attack bar. Uh, and then the enemies will take damage uh, whenever they get their turns. Or when, whenever the enemies get turns where they're playing their, uh, their song. So we got everyone in their song state right now. So they're taking a little bit of damage. And also taking attack power breaks uh, as well. And also remember how I mentioned Fran in here depending on your team is... Could potentially be nice sometimes. Well the Fran is... Uh, we're using the Fran on here. Can't quite use uh, the Water Werewolf on the Light and Dark only account. I feel like I shouldn't really have to explain why, but uh, they're basically just sucking away the HP from being in Melody of Resentment. Also, a thing to notice is uh, when they're in their song playing state, if you guys are not familiar with the Light uh, String Masters, when they're in their song playing state, uh, the enemies get turns and they will decrease their attack gauge to stay in that state longer. So if they're not in that state, uh, they'll increase their attack gauge then play the song, and then they'll decrease the attack gauge uh, when they're playing the song. So they just try to, like, they will manipulate their own attack gauge to try to stay in that song playing state as much as possible. If, if you pay attention to the uh, attack gauge increase, attack gauge increase, attack gauge increase. Then they have attack power breaks and um, glancing hits on their skills. The attack power break is part of their song state, and then the glancing hit is uh, part of the, it is just their skill one. So some of them have maxed skill ones, some of them don't have max skill ones, but... Just the crazy team. I, I, I am partial to the mummy team because it's just such a crazy team. It doesn't require like any LD4s. Like this one requires LD4s, right? Uh, but the mummy team is just so much fun. This is another team. And the mummies also, the thing about the mummies is like, it's not necessarily slow. It's not like a slow team. This one is noticeably slower than the other ones. So you, you can still farm with it. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty reliable, surprisingly. I'm not saying that you should. I would recommend if you're going to actually build a team, just build Tricaru, you'll be fine. The other ones, you don't need to build multiple LD4s for some of these teams. Tricaru is fine. Uh, Tricaru is great. If you don't want to build Tricaru, I mean, the, the mummy team's always there. You're like, Bagel, please do not tell new players to build the triple mummy uh, PC10. I'm just saying, when PC12 comes out, Countrust is like, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. When PC12 is uh, comes out, that mummy team, I'm telling you guys, going to be OP. Super OP mummy PC12. So uh, they take some damage, but they're so tanky. Again, they're just triple HP. They don't need to be super crazy fast or anything. They just need to be tanky to survive as long as possible so that the boss gets a lot of turns and does his little... Uh, does his little thing, right? So then also the boss uh, decreasing attack age is going to be nice to keep them in their song playing state longer. So, and then he's going to take, uh, he's got attack power breaks as well. He's got glancing, I mean, whenever he actually gets his glancing hits and attack power breaks. But look, the boss is just absorbing his attack age. Wonderful. I mean, not attack age, uh, absorbing his uh, HP, absorbing his own HP. It's fantastic. It's, it's such, such a great, such a fun team. Some crazy teams, though. You know what? I like all of these teams just because they're different. I personally am a huge fan of just fun teams. I want to see some fun things. I, 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 I got kind of bummed from, like, Triple Inugami is fine. Triple Inug like, Triple uh, Tricaro is fine. Um, but I was just so bummed that everyone is using the same exact team. And I'm like, man, what happened to the old days of Summoner's War where uh, everyone just uses different teams based on what they have? So... 3 minutes, 32 seconds, not saying, again, not saying this is the fastest team, not saying that this is the, like, best, most amazing team. It's just, we're going from the easiest, most standard, most, you know, this is what everyone's running. A little bit crazier, a little bit crazier, a little bit crazier, until we get to the end to 
a quadruple uh, light string master. Some of you already saw this team. Some of you already saw the mummy team. I don't know if some of you saw all the teams probably at some point in time. But uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, if you guys are new or returning or whatever, those are five different uh, Punisher script teams from uh, easiest to expert mode. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.